Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm gonna be dividing and transplanting uh, new and old peonies. There were some peonies that popped up in this uh, new house that I moved into. I'm not, not actually sure of the color. You just saw it at the beginning of the video. I dug them out. You need to go down pretty deep uh, when you're uh, digging out uh, peonies. You wanna slide your shovel in straight along the uh, outside edge. The uh, tubers are actually pretty deep under the soil. They can be six or seven or eight inches. So we wanna to try to go down and before we start to go over and uh, uh, get as much of the tuber as you, can, as you can get. I'll show you that in a minute when I start dividing these, uh, cutting these up right here. I've got three uh, in a container right here that I actually moved from the, uh, the, from the old house. And uh, they, you know, they've come back up in this uh, container. They're starting to come back up in this container. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the ground. This is, you might buy, uh, you might have peonies to dig up and divide. You might find peonies in containers in the spring to purchase and put in the ground, or you might buy them as uh, just the tubers uh, in a bag like I've done here. So I've also got these. Uh, there's four in this bag, and I'll show you. They're already, they're already coming up, but these are, you know, these are pretty nice, uh, pretty nice tubers here. And like I say, they were already starting to put on some, uh, some new growth, but I'll show you how to, uh, the, and these, these are nothing more than divisions of something like I just pulled out of the ground right there. That's all you're, that's all you're looking at right there. The same exact thing, but we want to put that, uh, um, that, that's exactly how the ones right here should end up looking or like the ones that came out of this bag right here. So I'm going to uh, get this uh, uh, cart uh, out of the way. It's the area right here behind it is where they're going to go. I want to uh, clear out all this mulch that's around uh, this space. I don't want any of this mulch down in that, in the holes. Uh, you typically plant uh, peony tubers about six inches deep. Uh, I don't plant, I don't plant them quite that deep. My soil doesn't drain that well and uh, I'll put them more like three or four inches deep and then the mulch will make up the remaining depth if that makes any sense. And that way I don't end up drowning my uh, peonies, which is very, very easy to do in a clay-based soil. So I'll use this Corona folding saw right here. Uh, it's a pretty handy tool. This is what I'll use to uh, cut, these, uh, cut these tubers up with. I believe that this one right here is actually just a separate plant altogether already. It's just a smaller uh, tuber, so I'll get that out. I've got a lot of grass and weeds in this as well, as you can see here, that need to come out. But there's one. Um, I could probably divide that Again, as you can see right there, I could probably cut that right down the middle right there, but it's not really big enough to justify that. So I'm gonna leave that one exactly like it is right there. It'll get planted uh, just like that down in the soil. And I'll leave this, um, the part that's emerged, I may sink just a little bit, but not, not much right there. Okay, this next one I think is all one piece. So I'm just gonna come in here, pull off all this weedy grass and uh, roots that don't seem to be attached to these and uh, just keep loosening loosening up this soil you can actually drop it a little bit like that uh, okay this is roots from something else this whatever this pretty nasty weed in here as well but once i get it down to something like this i actually just broke that one off we'll plant it see that tiny little tiny little tuber right there that we'll use so we're up to two i'm going to Let's identify here. I don't think that I want to turn this into more than, let me get this weed off of here, uh, maybe three. So I might come in here and cut this right here and then come in and cut right in the middle. So we're gonna end up with this as a plant, this is a plant, and this is a plant. I definitely could get more uh, out of this, but I don't think they'll bloom this year if I cut them down, but so much, if I stress them, but so much. And so I'm gonna leave the tubers pretty good size. So I'm literally, I'm just gonna slide my saw in here and saw the thing. Uh, you can, and then right there, as soon as I cut through that piece, the rest of it broke off very easily. Just like that. There you go. Perfect, I'm just gonna leave. Like I say, I could cut that probably into two or three more, uh, but I think uh, this one has adequate size where I'll probably get flowers this year. And then this again, I'm just gonna take it and cut it right in half. Just like that and this saw just cuts them super super easy once you get to the point where you can manipulate them a little bit you can slide them the rest of the way apart but there you go so this is what we've ended up with 
So I think the three in the container are actually spaced adequately, uh, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna dig a hole and plant uh, the three that are in that container right into this uh, right into this space. Uh, the others I'm gonna space. Uh, you need um, probably about one uh, tuber per square foot, something like that. That's probably about the proper spacing on them. Uh, here in this space, I'll get the three that are in that container and maybe do a two or two up from that bag and maybe two from the ones I dug up over there and then go to another location and plant a similar, a similar mix together. The actual best time to uh, do this would be in the fall when your uh, plants start to fade or they, when they're almost faded and you can still locate them, you can go in and cut the old foliage. Uh, back off the top of them, dig them out, divide them, and transplant them uh, that time of year. And then they have the winter uh, and early, early spring to get us reestablished a little bit. And they're probably a little ahead by doing it in the fall and probably are more likely to put on a show that next spring. Uh, I'm doing these in February, which is, uh, you know, like I say, uh, it's not as good as the fall, but it's, it's, not, it's not bad. But I am damaging, it, damaging them at the same time they're thinking about putting on growth so i probably am going to limit the amount of flowers i'll get in the first year by doing it this late but again uh i'm going to uh i'll dig uh actually before i do that container i'll just show you one here i'm going to uh i've got compost uh i had compost under this mulch so the compost is being mixed in as i'm digging this hole uh you can use uh uh, a shovel full of compost per each bulb with the soil, mix it with the soil that comes out of the hole. That'd probably be perfect. Uh, pine bark soil conditioner works uh, as well if you can, if you can find it and just, you know, a shovel full uh, per, per tuber, probably perfect. I've got that hole dug down about six or eight inches right there. I'm going to put some loose soil back into that hole. So now it's only probably four inches deep. Like I said, I'll take one of these tubers that I cut off here and I'm going to set him uh, in the hole here and uh, the foliage is sticking up uh, above the above the soil line and even a little bit extra because I've got this mulch I'm going to pull back in here and so I'm leaving him up I'm leaving him up pretty high here and uh, it's perfect in my clay soil I just if I go any deeper than this if I bury that tuber deep in the soil um, I'm going to have a problem those of you in the north probably do need to be putting them in at least six inches six inches deep and i'm going to just pack them around that's what i want it to ultimately look like let me do one or two more and then i'll pull this mulch back around and you can see that i'm going to leave that foliage sticking up just a bit again i'm putting a maybe maybe 10 12 inches of space between them if you're transplanting them in the fall just plant them back to the same depth that they were. It'll be obvious when you cut the foliage off that you can put them into the exact same depth that they came out of the soil in the fall. I'm gonna put that container with the three uh, right here. So transplanting one from a container would be like planting any other container plant. You wanna leave it up high uh, so we don't end up overwatering it uh, exactly like I'd plant any kind of shrub or tree really. I would have broken the roots up a little bit if there were any, uh, if they were root bound, never seen a peony root bound. Typically they're potted in containers and sold that exact, that first spring uh, at the garden center. So they would have gotten in their uh, tubers in uh, probably October, November, December and rooted them out through the winter and then you'd be buying them in a garden center. So I doubt very seriously they would be, you'd need to tear at the roots very much. Almost certainly some of the soil is gonna fall off. That's been my experience, which is what just happened then on ones that had been in a container for a year. So they're planted up high and dry. Uh, same thing with the ones from the bags that you're gonna buy. They're nothing, there's nothing different between those and the ones that I had divided. So I'm just gonna plant a couple of those here. Then I'm gonna have seven, seven planted uh, right here. But I'll pull them out of the, pull them out of the bag and uh, you have to make a decision, you know, on these tubers, what, which is up because they've been in this bag and they've started to grow and they've just been growing toward the light. So it can be somewhat confusion, con confusing which way to put it, but I would just put it where the majority of the uh, foliage is going upward. Let me hold this in my hand in front of the camera so you can see that. You see that right there? Foliage is going up. And again, I'm going to set them in here just like this and put some of this loose soil back in here. I just don't want them too deep in this clay. Uh, these, 
I'm going to just barely cover that foliage that's just starting to emerge on them. And that'll be perfect. Break the soil up. Just being gentle. I'm gonna pack the soil as best as possible, but I'm not going to. Okay, all right. I'll give you a close up in a minute of what I want you to see when you're done. Okay, we're gonna put one more right here. The same exact thing. Determine what up is, <laughs> which is, like I say, sometimes can be a little confusing on these. This one is more is it easy, easy to do. I'm putting him in there, just getting where the foliage is barely, barely gonna be visible. And uh, the mulch will cover the rest of that foliage up and then the foliage will bust through that bust through that mulch in the next week or two. Still early, I'm doing this in February, so I don't really want a whole lot of foliage sticking up on these this early, but it's been warm and they've gotten ahead of themselves. Okay, so I got this pretty well packed in. So before I mulch in my clay-based soils, I wanna see just the very top of that tuber. Uh, that's, that's what I wanna see. Uh, if I was planting uh, further north, I would definitely sink them deeper than this for sure, uh, but I'm gonna be pulling that mulch back right there and uh, that'll cover up the rest of that tuber uh, and a little bit of that foliage. The ones from the bag here that had barely started to emerge, I almost covered them completely up right here and uh, the mulch will take care of the rest of that. Then that foliage will bust through in a couple weeks when hopefully it's, uh, uh, they're ready and it's, uh, and, it's, and it's a better time for them to be coming up. This other foliage may get a little damaged in the next few weeks. I have no idea how cold it's gonna be, but they had jumped way ahead. That's it. I mean, they're easy. You dig them up, you saw them, you uh, space them, you know, maybe a foot apart is the adequate spacing. And then uh, in a clay soil in the south, you wanna mound them up a little higher and uh, in the north, plant them a little bit deeper. Okay, so I'm gonna push this mulch uh, back over the top of this gently, just like that. And uh, covering these tubers not covering the foliage on these ones that have stuck or up higher and these should do fantastic i don't know how many flowers i'll get this spring having done this much damage to them this close to the bloom time but we'll see thank you very much for uh watching this video